Hey guys, today we are obviously not in a garage. We're looking at my flagpole that I bought one month ago. I am doing a review on it. It is a five-sectional pieced flagpole. And um, you know those flagpoles you bought like at the Home Depot, they're like two inches on the top and two inches on the bottom. Well, this pole's different. It's two inches on the top and three inches on the bottom. There's a few cons and a few likes to like about this flagpole. One, the rope that comes with it is good, but it's pretty crappy. I don't really like it, so I put my own thicker nylon rope on there. It lasts about a year and a year and a half. Comes with a nice nylon American flag. Similar to this one I have on my flagpole now, but it's not the actual original one. I have the other original one folded up nicely, put away. And um, so I'm using my other nylon one. It comes with plastic snap hooks and... The ones that are on there now are not the ones that come with the pole. I used my ones I had. But this pole, I did a little maintenance on. So where the connections are, okay, let's take this connection for example. So you see this black stuff? Only a month, it's always starting to do that little bit of that black stuff. So over the winds, the pole shakes back and forth, back and forth. What happens is it eats the metal, and a good gust of wind will actually rip it with a nice clean cut. So what I did with all my sections is inside, I wrapped it duct tape around in every single section and hammer it with a rubber mallet tightly so it seals, so it illuminates from the pole twisting. And um, this rope, it's nylon. You can get the Ace Hardware, but I recommend the Home Depot because their stuff lasts longer. Have a nice, concrete base with 2018 in it in my name um a nice eagle and i have it lit with a light a solar light that brown light the other light i got from costco motion detected i recommend it for anybody it's only 49.99 at costco and that weather center it's an accurate 501 weather station I had it for about three years now. I only had to replace the batteries in it only three times because you were supposed to replace it once a year. And my windsock pole. Yeah, I'm aware it needs to be replaced, but I'm just going to replace it later on because down here on Commando Island, it's in Washington. It gets to tend to be pretty windy at times. And um, I enjoy my flagpole a lot. Um, comes with a nice pulley on the top nice gold ball and it's been surviving 30 miles an hour so far and um it's a good flagpole i love it and if you see that little knot right in there it's called a fisherman's knot that's where you want to put your knot at because if you put your knot down there where the cleat is it's just in the way it doesn't look nice doesn't look professional so I got everything on this pole looking professional. And that's what I like to work with. I don't like to do the cheap way. Not if I really have to, but in this case, all the parts of my flagpole are pretty good. All the cost of concrete, rope, hooks, around $180 just depends on concrete. I put like four bags of concrete on mine because the winds get around 60 miles an hour out here in the winter. So I made sure I put a nice strong base on there. And if this pole ever decided to snap on me, what I have to do is just take those little wood wedges out, pull the pole out, order a replacement, slide it back in, put the pole back in. Another four to five years of life. So if you ever get a flagpole, any kind of flagpole with sections in it, always seal it with duct tape and slide them in as decently snug and tight as possible. That will keep some life of your flagpole. If you want to know, this is a 20 foot flagpole. Good flagpole, recommend it for anybody. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe, leave a like, and thank you for watching.